your leaders and their teams are overwhelmed, exhausted and struggling to deal with all the change and uncertainty, empowering them with self-leadership strategies to build their resilience is more crucial than it ever has been before. Well, resilience expert Heidi Denning joins us now uh, from Sydney. Good morning to you, Heidi. Who better to kick off our event than someone who has just been named best international keynote speaker in the Asia Pacific region. She is the saint of self-leadership. Please say hi there to Heidi Denning. Hand up if you have had a few of life's curveballs tossed at you over the years. When the world continues to evolve at such a rapid rate, organisations must find a way to be resilient enough to cope with the curveballs and the cannonballs that we have no control over. And this starts with putting our people first. Now as leaders, you know that the path ahead will not always be easy. To be a talented leader, you first need to be a talented self-leader. So how does self-leadership move us from this place of fear into a place of courage? We know there's so much we can't control, but we can control our thoughts. I'd like to assure you that my virtual presentations and programs are just as important and impactful as they were pre-COVID-19. My virtual self-leadership, resilience and well-being presentations are a compilation of three things. Firstly, science-based facts from my degree. Secondly, over 20 years of business experience educating organisations and their people with performance enhancing programs. And thirdly, the unique insights I've learned from my real life adversity, spoiler alert, think paralyzing illness, a cyclone, tsunami and petrol bombs. But most importantly, how to apply these insights so we can come out of challenging times better and brighter than ever before. Sitting there with a lump in my throat, is just like she's explaining what happened. But I just love how she brings it back to corporate life. It's her experiences are extraordinary and the strategies she gives are just so practical. So she is spellbinding, I love it. Now that I've been able to extract the lessons from my own adversities, it's my privilege that I now help organisations to develop this crucial component within their leadership teams. It, the, the whole layer, the ripple effect of that kind of change amongst you all, you know, losing team members and friends and leaders and mentors has a massive impact. We have the choice to believe the neuroscience. And it is the neuroscience that tells us that those three things can flip our negative emotions to positive emotions. Before I tell you part three, can I have a show of hands? Who works hard in this room? You're not gonna say it if you've got your manager next to you. <laughs> Repeat after me. I, Heidi Denning. But your name, sorry, say it again, yeah. When I was healing, I did Samba lessons. And that made me feel good. Whether from stage, in workshops, via online platforms, Heidi Denning has the unique ability to empower leaders and their teams to find their courage and build their resilience so they can come out of tough times better and brighter than ever before. She believes that education changes lives and has dedicated her career to transforming the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. So if you would like for me to talk about the universal messages of courage, resilience, self-leadership and well-being, which I'm sure you agree are more important and relevant now than they have ever been, please get in touch as I would love to tailor something that is right for you.